So HTML elements can have something called as attributes. For example, there can be a tag and there can be an attribute and the attribute can have a value. And also a single tag can have multiple attributes in it like this. Attribute, value, space, attribute, value. So like this, it can have any number of attributes. Let's see an example. So if you look at anchor tag, which stands for A, which is used to embed links within the text, that is anchor tag usage. Now it is having a attribute called href, okay, href. And now this href is containing a link, okay. Now whatever this link is, it will be embedded within this text, okay. We will see examples for that. Now, for example, if I write like this anchor tag without any attributes, nothing will happen. If you say this is a link to Google, then it is simply printing this is a link to Google. But then when you embed a link, so which means if I write href some link and this is a link to Google, then what happens is you are going to get a link within the text embed inside the text. So when you click on it, it link will go there. Okay. So there are also global uh, attributes, which so see certain attributes are specific to certain tags, HTML tags, but there are some attributes which you can use on all the HTML tags. Okay, so they are called as global attributes. Now we are not going to use too many attributes in normal programming, a uh, very complicated websites use too many attributes, we will see that now if you have this uh, draggable draggable is an attribute which is global it can be applied to any tag so we are applying it to a tag draggable equal to true means you, you will be able to drag if you click on it and drag it will move okay so let's see a tag in uh, mozilla developer network mdn so in mdn website if you go to a tag then you are going to see if you go to a tag then you are going to see all the attributes attributes are listed there are many attributes you can see here but we are not going to use all of them we are going to use href okay href is used to uh, embed this link in the text okay so there is also something called as global attributes if you click on global attributes then you are going to see a lot of attributes which can be applied to any tag okay so if you are interested you can go through this but all these tags are not actually required all these attributes okay now if you click on this if you see this draggable this is a global attribute if you drag it you will be able to drag it i think they are also implementing it using draggable if you drag it you will be able to drag this so you can see that you are able to drag it okay fine let's now see a small HTML code here. So in H3, I am writing top three shopping websites. And then in a ordered list as list items, I have three list items and three list items are nothing but uh, anchor elements, three anchor elements are there. And I have given the name of the website and their links here. Now so let's see how it looks like. So it is going to look like this. The website is going to look like this. Top three shopping websites, Flipkart, Amazon, Mintra. If I click on anything, then we will go to that website. Okay. Then we are in this website. Okay. Thank you. Hi, let's now see image tag. So image is used to embed an image in the web page. Now, one thing is, it is a self-closing image tag. So it is actually, it doesn't have any body or it doesn't have any contents in the sense, uh, it doesn't have a closing tag and the body in between, it doesn't have all that. It is a self-closing. So that is why I'm writing slash and this slash is optional. If you want to write it, you write it. Otherwise, it is generally a good practice to write it. Now image is going to have few attributes. So one attribute is called as uh, SRC source where you are going to give you give the location of the picture that you want to embed this url is nothing but the location of the picture that you are going to embed okay and now 
for example if you write like this there is a picture on the internet i have taken the link and i kept it here and then i have write written slash 200 so if i write slash some number it means that i want the picture to be of size 200 by 200 so 200 means the picture should be of size 200 by 200 and now we got a 200 by 200 image okay now similarly there is one more attribute called as alt alt this alt means alternative text description alternative text description right so whenever this image is not loaded or is it, if there is some problem with the url and the image is not loading automatically this text will be displayed then also uh, sometimes there will be blind people who will be seeing websites and they have some screen readers automatic screen readers they will rely on the screen readers for the description now for that uh, screen reader this this value will be this alternative text will be taken and they will read it out for the blind people so anyway these are the two cases where alt alt is going to be helpful now let's see an example here let's try to write a code so tiger we will put a tiger image there now image source and uh, alt we have to give so we are taking a image and we copied the URL for the image. Oh, URL is too big. Okay, fine. But anyway, it will display the image. And alternative text we gave is tiger image is the alternate text. Now you can see that the tiger image got embedded okay thank you now we have learned about image we have learned about uh, anchor we have learned about h1 h2s so we will combine all this and do a small project just for practice not a complex one just a simple one let's say we want to invite our friends to birthday party and we want to make a website for it so that your friends can see that you can send the link to the website so in H1, we are saying it's my birthday. In H2, we are saying birthday is February 23rd. I think that is my TS birthday. So we are copying an image link, a cake, so that it will be, it is a birthday, right? So a cake image is used and just adjust the height. If you adjust the height, width also will get adjusted appropriately. So we got an image. Now, we will also tell the friends what to get. So you can see the email, the website is building. This is not a very beautiful website, but we will do styling later. Once we learn CSS, then it will actually be beautiful. For now, with bare HTML, this, this is what we get. A list we are using. So we are putting everything together. Whatever we have learned so far, we are putting everything together. So we are asking them to bring balloons, cake, and what else? gifts generally we don't ask people to bring gifts to the birthday party but just for just to have some elements list items in the unordered list we are using this so in the unordered list we got it and then we are going to give them a link for the location 
where the birthday party is but we don't have google map location as of now so for now we will put hash hash means it will be a placeholder nothing will nothing will be there for now a google map is used so let's display it on a web browser so that you will see how it looks like in the web browser for that your phone needs a mobile or wi-fi connection first okay so this is the website we got yeah it is not very beautiful but this is what you will get with the bare html okay later we will do css thank you so whenever you are writing html you have to follow some format that is standard okay so everyone follows it it is not a rule but it is a good practice to follow a format now in that format now if you if you look at it it is going to look like this this is called as html boilerplate so whenever you create a html page this boilerplate is automatically going to come up and you are going to write your code in it let's dissect it part by part so basically you are going to have doc type html this says what is the current version of the html that your uh, html code is following there are versions of html currently html5 is running so if you don't write anything if you write html it means it is html5 it says that the entire html follows html5 version okay and then the html tag so this is the outermost tag you have to write everything within it and it is containing an attribute called lang lang in language and you can put what the language of this uh, in this html file is so it is better to put english or uh, latin or i don't know italy uh, whatever the your language you are using in the html you are going to put it there and then there is head so this head actually contains the metadata metadata means data about the file actually it is not used or it is not displayed on the web page it only gives you metadata just the data okay about about the entire file so and then there is going to be body so inside the body we are going to write everything whatever html code we have written till now that should go inside the body of it but we didn't use it because i didn't explain about it and then in the metadata there can be many things so if you open google's web page and if you see the metadata there will be a lot of attributes but all those are uh, i mean if you want them you can write about them in general they are not required so there are few metadata even if you don't write meta also that is fine metadata also that is fine so meta attribute has character set so this, this says what is the encoding we have used we have used utf8 and then the next one is name so it actually says how your uh, web page should be displayed in different devices that is viewport is nothing but the device that you are currently watching so width of it is equal to width and initial scaling equal to one all these parameters are used to specify how it should appear on a device and then you can have a title so title is not going to be displayed on the web page but if you look at the browser if you open many tabs on top of it when the tab is there some title will be written so that this is where your title is coming from okay so let's see how to get the boiler you don't have to print type all that in your code so if you open visual studio code and if you give explanation sorry exclamation <laughs> exclamation mark and if you type enter you are automatically going to get the html uh, uh, this boiler plate, boiler plate code and it contains everything and you can start your coding from here in the body you can start okay thank you